Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Jeff. I am a senior solution engineer at DigitalOcean. Today, I would love to introduce a topic called simplifying generative AI SaaS development with DigitalOcean. And today's all the source code and also the deployment flow will be compiled into a GitHub repository. So you don't need to take a screenshot or do any video recording. You just put yourself in the back seat and let's get started. So during our daily business, we consult, we help uh, many CTO, technical co-founder, and also some engineer leader to build their SaaS. We compile five components regarding how to build a SaaS. The first one is system design. You need to design your front end, including the UI UX, and also all the buttons, all the uh, animation. The backend, you need to have a robust API database to store all the data and also storage and DNS. The second element is user management. You need to ensure your user have some, some place to register and log in so that the system can start to do authentication and authorizations on word. The third one, payment. It is so crucial that your, your business be founded by the recurring revenue. So ensuring that your SaaS connect with the third party payment is also very important for your monthly recurring revenue or annual recurring revenue. Once your idea get very hot, you can expect a lot of traffic flood into your application. So how to scale effectively and efficiently is a key topic. You may also want to know your system status. For example, what is the utilization rate of your hardware resource in like CPU, memory, or disk? So you want to have the monitoring. All those five components are what we conclude are essential to build a SaaS. And today I'm going to give you a demo like how I design a generative AI SaaS application based on these five components. So today, before I ju jump into the demo, I'm going to show you how I design this generative AI art SaaS application. Right now on, on the market, we all know that there are a lot, a lot of AI um, things. For example, you can use a Jupyter Notebook as an interface and you can invoke some open AI's API endpoints. That can be a, a basic POC for a generative AI SaaS. Maybe a little bit advanced, you can use some vector database and to retrieve some data from external. Today, what I'm going to introduce is a standard web application designed in three tier architecture. The front end I'm using Next.js and hosts on DigitalOcean app platform. With DigitalOcean app platform, it also comes together a monitoring features out of the box. For the back end, I use a server with a GPU card A100, and I use an open source software called Stable Diffusion to generate image based on the text. All the data will be stored in a data layer. So I use MongoDB engine and hosts on DigitalOcean database as a service. So since it is a text to image generative AI SaaS, the generated image will then be stored in object storage at the ocean. And we call this protocol spaces. So this consists of my generative AI SaaS. And regarding for uh, logging and registrations, I use Auth0 to do that. If you want to pay or top up your token, I connect with Stripe. So these are the overall architecture of the upcoming demo. This application is called StoryForge. StoryForge is a children illustration book creator powered by Stable Diffusion. And the most important is that everything can be managed by DigitOcean. 
So let's give you a quick look. So this is a landing page of a story forge. Uh, as you can see, there's only one button. So let's click the begin. And once you click through, it will redirect you to an authentication page. So in here, you can either sign up with a new account, or if you already have the, you, if you already register, you can just put in the credential. So let's assume that we already have everything um, for the user. So let's click continue. So once you're logging on the left hand side, this is the, the menu bar. Right now we are in the uh, new image uh, list tab. And underneath this, this button, you can also see uh, the available tokens under your account. Underneath is the all the records that you create this image before. If you want to load more image, you can just click this uh, hyperlink and it will retrieve the data from the database. Let's move to the main canvas. In here, you can also see uh, what is the title of this image and you want to put some description for this image as well. And this is what we so call like the prompt. And if you don't have any idea, no problem. We have some example like in, you can be inspired by this masterpiece. So let's choose some from here. So let's say I want to create some that clash at Mystic Mountain. So click and the prompt will be just pass it for you. So right now when I click the generate, it will start to rendering a new image from our backend. Okay, so when I click the generate, I'm going to uh, switch to another window, which is the terminal. So you can see what happens behind the skin. So right now you see the backend uh, receive the request and this is start to processing the request and generate the image. So looks all good. Let's let us uh, switch back to the front end. So I use the same prompt and it generate the image uh, from the models. So what behind the skin is that when you put in all this prompt, it will be put into a payload and send uh, with a request to the backend. And the backend will start parsing this request and then use this description and generate the image and send it back to the front end. One thing that's happened in between is that once the image is being generated, it will be uploaded to our object storage spaces bucket. And once it's being uploaded, the link and also the user ID will be stored in the MongoDB database. So that is all about uh, how we generate a new image. You can also download it from our space bucket city and endpoint. If you don't like it, you can also delete it. No problem. Let's say if you want to uh, top up some more token. So just click here, add more token and it will redirect you to the Stripe. So you can use, either use the Google Pay or uh, some other credit card to top up for 10 more tokens. So let's come back to the slide. So what I just demonstrated StoryForge uh, is about how you can generate an image and also how you can top up. Let me just re quickly recap how I designed it. So on the front end side, I use Next.js and host on DigitOcean app platform. And the back end, I use the server with a GPU A100 card. And the, the data layer, I use a MongoDB engine and host on our database as a services. The generated artifact will then be stored in DigitOcean spaces. And the rest of and the overall the, the metrics for the overall application you can use monitoring came from DigitOcean app platform. We also have the Auth0 uh, for you to register and also for you to manage the user. Last but not least, you can top up via the Stripe. So let's give you a quick look about how you can use uh, DigitOcean's app platform and databases services on our cloud panel. So let's go to here.
deploy 24. So in here, you can see those are all the resource that related to today's demo and click here, Story Forge. You will be redirected to App Platform. When you just land into the Story Forge uh, landing page uh, for this application, uh, you can see an overview of the, the application's health. Right now, everything's available. And you can also have a glimpse of the resource utilization from memory aspect, CPU aspect. On the right hand side, you can also see the recent activity. So, for example, if you commit a change in your source code and send it to the GitHub, App Platform will automatically pulling the latest change and deploy it for you. So the CICD uh, will be taken care by DigitalOcean. If you want to get more insight about the your resource utilization rate, click the Insight tab. And you can have a, a more detailed view from CPU aspect, memory aspect, CDN aspect. One thing that I would love also to emphasize that you can also check the runtime log directly from the runtime log tab. And also you can even go to the console and interact uh, with the container running on the app platform. When you go to the setting, let's say right now your application is getting very, very popular and you want to scale. This is where the app platform can really help you. So click the component and go to the resource size Click Edit. Right now, I use two container, which means like you have two replica uh, as a, running as a front end uh, instance. What if you want to do auto scaling instead of the manual scaling? We have it. So click here. So you can set up either the minimum container and also the maximum container, and also what is the trigger point for this application so that you don't need to always be awake during the midnight. Um, we can help you to orchestrate your application um, by following your desired state. If you want to also send some logs or watch some logs, you can also check the runtime uh, console. Sorry, uh, the runtime log over here. But what if you want to uh, having some centralized place to manage your log. We also have a feature like forward logs to some popular uh, application performance management tool. For example, Datadog, Paper Trail, and also Logtail. So that is all about the app platform. Let's have an, another quick look for databases. So right now, let's click through this one, StoryForge MongoDB. So in here, you can still have some insight about the resource utilization rate for your databases, like CPU usage, load average, memory usage, and also disk usage. You can also check about the logs to see the transactions happen on that database. And when you click the setting, and if you feel that, all right, the current database is now uh, working pretty well due to lack of the resource, click the cluster configuration and click Edit. We can help you to scale up into larger resource by providing you more CPU, memory, and also underlying storage. If the resource is not the case, you just want to ensure you have some more uh, robustness. You can add here, add two more standby nodes. So by doing so, you can ensure that um, this database as service uh, keep the minimum downtime as much uh, as lower as possible. Okay, so let's come back to the slide. What happened behind the screen uh, when you're using App Platform to host your front end? Um, database as a service uh, to host your database. The first thing is that a single sign-on and also the payment has, has been taken care 
by some other services. So it can streamline your account handling and seamless transaction. For the database management, our DBAs can provide robust uptime and keep it is uh, in a um, in a good maintenance uh, manner. If you have some change, you don't need to worry about CI/CD because it will be automatically take care by app platform. And regarding for the high availability and orchestration, our app platform, uh, our app platform's auto scaling feature can definitely help you to meet your desired state. So you don't need to worry about uh, whether you want to scale manually or always keep awake during the midnight. So this comes to my last slide of this presentation. DigitOcean is an enterprise grade platform that we ready for you to scale in a single region or into multiple regions around the world. We have the, work class, uh, the best in class Kubernetes services, and also we have Droplet, and also we have GPU. We can take care of everything for you. Transparency bidding. I know that some of the users they being surprised by other cloud provider at the end of the month because the, the cloud bidding is such a bad surprise. DigitOcean we prioritize simplicity and transparency. So you will only pay about what you just use. No surprise. Last but not least, a DigitOcean is an enterprise grade platform. We do provide 24 by 7 dedicated support. We want to support your business around the clock. So every time when you submit a ticket, you will get a response. Every time you are going to launch a new product, we have a team ready for you. So here it comes to the end of my uh, session. If you want to build your next generative AI venture, come to DigitOcean because we will guide you through this journey and grow together with you.